VMware Cloud Foundation uses vSphere Lifecycle Manager to update ESXi clusters. As of vSphere 8, legacy update manager baselines are deprecated. It's recommended to use VLCM images for workload domains in VCF. I'm Eric Gray from VCF Technical Marketing, and in this video you'll learn how to update a management domain that was deployed using VLCM images. This new capability was introduced in version 5.1. After you've updated SDDC Manager, NSX, and vCenter, you're ready to complete your VCF infrastructure upgrade. It's a good idea to download all the bundles before starting, but if you haven't downloaded ESXi yet, you can initiate it on the Updates tab. The ESXi bundle is required for all host updates, whether they're using baselines or images. The easiest way to compose a new ESXi image is by using vCenter Server in the management domain. Temporarily create a new empty cluster and use the default configuration setting to manage all hosts in the cluster with a single image. Choose the ESXi version and build number that matches your VCF target bill of materials or BOM. Configure vendor add-ons and other customizations as needed. Next, navigate to Image Management in SDDC Manager and switch to the Import Image tab. Select the workload domain and temporary cluster you just created. Enter a descriptive image name and click the Extract button. Notice that if your organization has a standardized host image, you can choose to import it here instead of using a temporary vCenter cluster. Now that a suitable cluster image is available in SDDC Manager, you can begin the host update process. This is done in two steps. First, you apply the new target image to a cluster and specify upgrade options, such as whether or not to use Quick Boot. This triggers a hardware compatibility and compliance check to help prevent any unexpected issues that may interfere with successful host updates. After confirming that the update can proceed, complete the process by scheduling the operation to run during a maintenance window or right away. You can track the overall progress in SDDC Manager. If you would like to observe the cluster update process in detail, open vCenter Server. Navigate to the applicable cluster and click on the Updates tab. You'll notice that each host in the cluster enters maintenance mode before it's upgraded and safely rebooted. At the end, the cluster is checked for compliance with the new image. The temporary cluster that was created earlier can be deleted since the image has already been extracted to SDDC Manager. In SDDC Manager, verify the upgrade has completed successfully by clicking on the Update History tab. You can also look at the Release Versions section to confirm that the new domain is now on the intended VCF BOM. Now you know how to update a VCF workload domain that's configured to use VLCM images. For more information, visit the VMware Cloud Foundation website.